The Office of Tailored Access Operations is a cyber warfare intelligence gathering unit at the National Security Agency. It has been active since at least circa 1998. TAO identifies, monitors, infiltrates, and gathers intelligence on computer systems being used by entities foreign to the United States. The NSA terms these activities computer network exploitation. TAO is reportedly now the largest and arguably the most important component of the NSA's huge signal intelligence directorate, consisting, more than 1,000 military and civilian computer hackers, intelligence the analysts, targeting specialists, computer hardware and software designers, and electrical engineers. A document leaked by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden describing the unit's work says that TAO has software templates allowing it to break into commonly used hardware, including a Euro O routers, switches, and firewalls from multiple product vendor lines. According to the Washington Post, TAO engineers prefer to tap networks rather than isolated computers, because there are typically many devices on a single network. Physical locations, TAO's headquarters are termed the Remote Operations Center and are based at Fort Meade, Maryland. TAO also has expanded to NSA Hawaii, NSA Georgia, Texas Cryptologic Center, and Buckley Air Force Base, Denver. Virtual locations, details on a program titled Quantum Squirrel indicate NSA ability to masquerade as any routable IPv4 or IPv6 host. The NSA thus may appear to be anywhere and anyone on the public Internet when utilizing Quantum Squirrel capability. Organization In the Remote Operations Center 600 employees gather information from around the world. Data Network Technologies Branch Develops automated spyware, telecommunications network technologies branch, improved network and computer hacking methods, mission infrastructure technologies branch, operates the software provided above. Access Technologies Operations Branch, reportedly includes personnel seconded by the CIA and the FBI, who perform what are described as off-net operations, which is a polite way of saying that they arrange for CIA agents to surreptitiously plant eavesdropping devices on computers and or telecommunications systems overseas so that TAO's hackers may remotely access them from Fort Meade. Probably specially equipped submarines, currently USS Jimmy Carter, are used to wiretap fiber optic cables around the globe. Quantum attacks. The TAO has developed an attack suite they call Quantum. It relies on a compromised router that duplicates internet traffic, typically HTTP requests, so that they go both to the intended target and to an NSA site. The NSA site runs Fox ACID software which sends back exploits that load in the background in the target web browser before the intended destination has had a chance to respond. Prior to the development of this technology, Fox ACID software made spear phishing attacks the NSA referred to as spam. If the browser is exploitable, further permanent implants are deployed in the target computer, for example Olympus Fire for Windows which give complete remote access to the infected machine. This type of attack is part of the man-in-the-middle attack family, though more specifically it is called man-on-the-side attack. It is difficult to pull off without controlling some of the Internet backbone. There are numerous services that FoxACID can exploit this way. The names of some FoxACID modules are given below. By collaboration with the British Government Communications Headquarters, Google services could be attacked too, including GMAIL. Finding machines that are exploitable and worth attacking is done using analytic databases such as XSkiScore. A specific method of finding vulnerable machines is interception of Windows error reporting traffic, which is logged into XSkiScore. Quantum attacks launched from NSA sites can be too slow for some combinations of targets and services as they essentially try exploit a race condition that is the NSA server is trying to beat the legitimate server with its response. As of mid-2011, the NSA was prototyping a capability codenamed QFIRE, which involved embedding their exploit dispensing servers in virtual machines hosted closer to the target, in the so-called Special Collection Sites Network worldwide. The goal of QFIRE was to lower the latency of the spoofed response, thus increasing the probability of success. Commandeer, 
SIG is used to commandeer untargeted computer systems. The software is used as a part of Quantum Nation, which also includes the software vulnerability scanner validator. The tool was first described at the 2014 Chaos Communication Congress by Jacob Appelbaum, who characterized it as tyrannical. Quantum Cookie Attack Quantum Cookie is a more complex form of attack which can be used against Tor users. Known targets and collaborations China, Tor Firefox users, in concert with the US CIA and FBI, TAO is used to intercept laptops purchased online, divert them to secret warehouses where spyware and hardware is installed, and send them on to customers. OPEC, CMEWE for a Euro an optical fiber submarine communications cable system that carries telecommunications between Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Egypt, Italy, Tunisia, Algeria and France. Mexico's Secretariat of Public Security, TAO's Quantum Insert technology was passed to UK services, particularly to GCHQ's MyNOC, which used it to target Belgacom and GPRS roaming exchange providers like the Confun, Cineverse, and Starhome. Belgacom which provides services to the European Commission, the European Parliament and the European Council discovered the attack. Far Paragraph Rosferit's radio installed in Sweden gives access to fiber optic links for quantum cooperation. According to a 2013 article in Foreign Policy, TAO has become increasingly accomplished at its mission, thanks in part to the high-level cooperation it secretly receives from the big three American telecom companies, most of the large US-based Internet service providers, and many of the top computer security software manufacturers and consulting companies. A 2012 TAO budget document claims that these companies, on TAO's behest, insert vulnerabilities into commercial encryption systems, IT systems, networks and endpoint communications devices used by targets. A number of US companies, including Cisco and Dell, have subsequently made public statements denying that they insert such backdoors into their products. Microsoft provides advance warning to the NSA of vulnerabilities it knows about, before fixes or information about these vulnerabilities is available to the public. This enables TAO to execute so-called zero-day attacks. A Microsoft official who declined to be identified in the press confirmed that this is indeed the case, but said that Microsoft can't be held responsible for how the NSA uses this advance information. See also References External links Inside TAO, documents reveal top NSA hacking unit, NSA hacking unit infiltrates computers around the world A Euro report, NSA tailored access operations, HTTP, www.wired.com 2013 NSA router hacking slash HTTP, www.nighttimes.com 01 us NSA effort prize open computers not connected to Internet HTML.